Ever thought that one of the world's strongest glues was born from a mistake? Imagine trying to create gun sights and ending up with something super sticky and useless. Back in 1942, that was exactly Dr. Harry Coover's mission at Eastman Kodak. He was developing transparent plastic gun sights for World War II. One of his formulations, cyanoacrylate, stuck to absolutely everything. Total failure for gun sights, right? That's what they thought. Fast forward to 1951. Coover, along with Fred Wicker, was working with cyanoacrylates again. This time, they were looking for heat-resistant coatings for jet cockpits. And there it was again, that stubborn, ultra-strong adhesion. This time, it clicked. This wasn't a problem, it was a solution. They realized the substance's extreme adhesive potential. It was first marketed as Eastman 910. Soon after, the world would know it as superglue. But the story gets even more surprising. During the Vietnam War, an unexpected twist. Field medics, needing quick solutions, used cyanoacrylate sprays. For what? To seal soldiers' wounds, stopping bleeding and saving lives. From a laboratory mistake to an essential everyday adhesive, and even an improvised medical resource in wartime. Today, superglue is in homes and workshops everywhere. So next time you use this superglue, remember, sometimes a big failure can be an extraordinary success in disguise. Amazing how an accident turned into something so useful, don't you think?